Hi, Roger Lynn here, and in this video, I'm going to uh, demonstrate a couple of my favorite physical modeling synthesizers played under the expressive control of an instrument. Um, and uh, I am a particular fan of physical modeling synthesis uh, because it provides, it provides much more um, sonic richness and clarity and depth than a uh, standard subtractive synthesis or other methods of synthesis, uh, much closer to the, um, the harmonic richness of, of acoustic instruments, yet uh, for creating new synthetic sounds. Um, and um, uh, so I use it a lot. And I have two favorites. There are many in the market now, and I encourage you to check some of them out. But I'm going to play just a couple of the ones that are my favorites. And the first one is the, um, uh, the technology from the company called Audio Modeling. And this is their software instrument called the Cello. And uh, you'd swear it's an excellent uh, sample library because of its uh, beautiful sonic quality. Uh, but then where it um, departs from the limitations of samples is that it's completely malleable as synthesis is. Um, so, for example, I can play under three dimensions of uh, instrument's control. I have pressure. And pitch. of bow position. And then if I strike it hard, I get more of the bow attack. second synthesizer I'd like to play for you is uh, the Sculpture Physical Modeling Synthesizer in Apple's Logic or Mainstage. Now this synthesizer has been around since 2004, although it has had some updates. For example, it's now fully MPE compatible. But what I love about it is, first of all, it has beautiful sounds to it, and it also responds very well to the instrument's uh, control, because these sounds are, once again, synthetic and, and very malleable and modulatable, if that's a word. Um, but the other thing, too, is they really thought through it very well, and the user interface is very intuitive um, to help you understand uh, how to get good sounds out of a modeled string out of this mathematical model of a string being struck or struck or hammered or bowed or uh, with air blowing over it. Uh, so I'm going to play you a few variations on a sound that I like. This one here takes a sound that's, it's actually similar to the other sound. It's, it's like a cello uh, in character, but uh, if I tilt my finger forward, it goes into feedback. So here's the sound. change the setting here. Marvelous. Uh, and here's a variation on that, which adds a dissonance. Um, uh, in the manual, it says that it's kind of like they took this giant magnet on a metal string and it's pulling it to one side so it has asymmetrical vibration. But it, it, it creates a very um, uh, an honest, um, almost acoustic uh, form of dissonance. So here's that same sound. Mm -hmm. Now, if I tilt my finger for it, it'll turn into this dissonant sound. Mm -hmm. example of this is a hammered string. Uh, and this is using the same string, but instead of ex exciting it by wind blowing over or bowing it, I'm using a uh, random hammers, uh, a set of random hammers in software uh, to continuously restrike this, 
the string. So it sounds like an ensemble of hammer dulcimer players. And I'll do this first on one note. And as I tilt forward, it uh, removes dampening from the string to make it more freely vibrating. sound to play a three-part harmony to really give it that uh, ensemble of player sound. <laughs> examples of uh, what you can do with physical modeling synthesis and there are many more and each one of the ones that out that, uh, that, that is out there uh, reflects the um, the design ideas of, of the designer in a unique way and each one has its own magical sounds and I encourage you uh, to check them out and this whole field of uh, physical modeling synthesis <laughs>